the mainstream media coverage of crypto scandals was unfair and exaggerated the least. Crypto is like any other sector, it has its fair share of scandals. The collapse of FTX crypto platform ignited the spotlight on this industry and gave some regulators the opportunity to call for harsh laws in order to end the decentralization nature of digital assets. There are two main reasons why blockchain ecosystem will continue to be viewed as a threat to governments and financial institutions. Reason number one, fear of losing control due to decentralization. The government fears losing control over the currency system due to decentralization. Reason number two, crypto is a threat to the business of central banks and financial institutions. The government controls the country's finance and economy with the help of central banks and financial institutions. After crypto has become more popular, many central banks have lost their business, which is eventually a loss to the government. You need to understand the relationship between money and the politics to understand what's going on. Every country has super PACs, political action committees, that are financed in part by large corporations, their shareholders and financial institutions. These committees pour a lot of money into political campaigns. They are the dominant forces in the politics and that's the reason we will see crackdowns on cryptocurrencies by some lawmakers, regulators and governments all around the globe. Nobody knows whether the world will completely trust cryptocurrency, but the growing number of people trust the blockchain technologies more than the government.